Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Black Friday here in the United States and while well, some people are busy uh, shopping for uh, deals on on a different type of merchandise, I am here uh, trying to uh, keep myself as busy as possible hiking here in the trail. Anyway, uh, one of the most common questions that I usually uh, being asked is that with uh, from, from patients who have uh, venous ulcers or lymphedema, they, should, they usually ask like, is it okay for me to walk? My answer is absolutely yes. There is no evidence that walking actually aggravate the situations however you have to be guided by uh, a professional when you go for you should be on a certain type of exercise regimen and um, one of the things that you should always remember is that when you are ambulating you are actually taking advantage of your inherent mechanism to push the fluid up from that stagnant pool of fluid below the knee to go up. The reason why you have swelling in your legs is that the valve in your, in your veins which are responsible in helping the fluid to go up are very insufficient. They are so floppy that they allow regurgitation or what we call reflux instead of going to or doing a unidirectional or one direction going up it goes like a psh, instead of like that so now what is something to do with walking uh, we have the calf muscles these are the muscles at the back of the uh, of the leg so when they contract uh, during ambulation or during exercises they they produce the force the tension that overcomes the uh, resistance of the flow going up because when you're standing your body has to overcome an uh, approximately 100 millimeters of mercury and that strong muscle contraction of the cup would push against the uh, deep veins in the uh, inner part of of the leg so that the blood or the fluid could go up and get recirculated so then what i'm trying to say while it's okay to walk if you have a condition like venous ulcer ven chronic venous insufficiency or lymphedema it is important for you to wear your compression stockings if you have one or better yet you need to be fitted with a velcro uh, type of of compression and uh, this compression has to be short stretch and stiff it is the rigidity or the stiffness of the materials that matters more than the tightness okay and it has to be short stretch because when the muscle contracts it goes like this it goes like that and then expands during muscle relaxation and it's the expansion process that would suck back the fluid down so therefore instead of having a unidirectional flow of the fluid you're actually going up and then going down up down something like that because this expansion of the muscle during the relaxation phase reduces that tension and it has a sucking effect of the fluid downwards so it is important then that when you decide to go for a walk that you are wearing your compression stockings it has to be the right one of course everything that i just said is based on my expert opinion let's take a look at what the literature say in a systematic review and meta-analysis published january 2023 on the effects of exercise, including walking and treating patients with venous leg ulcers, Zhang et al. stated that exercise, including walking, manifested positive effects on venous leg ulcer healing compared with a control group. In a research published 
in the Journal of Physical Therapy Science in 2016, the research or paper indicates that exercise, including walking, can be effective in managing lymphedema by promoting lymphatic flow and reducing limb swelling. In summary, yes, walking can be beneficial for individuals with venous ulcers or lymphedema, but it's important to approach it cautiously and with guidance from a healthcare professional. For patients with venous ulcers, walking can help improve blood circulation and reduce swelling. However, individuals should avoid prolonged periods of standing or sitting, and it's crucial to wear compression stockings as recommended by your healthcare professional. In case of lymphedema, controlled in guidance, walking can stimulate the lymphatic system, aiding in fluid drainage. Compression garments may also be prescribed, as we have previously dis discussed, to provide additional support during physical activity like ambulation or walking. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This is your own and lymphedema sage saying hello from Nevada City, California.